I notified her and she said I will come in immediately. So she voluntarily came to court today without any summons being served. We made an application for her to be released on her own bail, uh, given the fact that she voluntarily came to court, she was the former Minister of Health, and that she is of good standing. Uh, the court placed her on $100,000 bail. Um, the direct, sorry, Mr. Glenn Hanneman, who is appearing for Mr. Ramson in these proceedings, then informed the court that he has... So we have a lot of rather unusual development these cases. Precedents like this before private criminal charges were filed on the details. No, the normal procedure is if on the invitation of the accused person or the defendant, you write to the director inviting her to take over, well first of all inviting her to look at what the allegations are and whether there is enough evidence to support that. And if there is not enough evidence to withdraw, in this case it is clear that the director wrote to Mr. Hanneman, has decided clearly that they don't have enough evidence and is now instructed, has now instructed the police to conduct an investigation. So it means the charge was filed when there was an of, of uh, information and now they're looking for it. What do you make of the allegations though? What do I make of the what allegations? What do you make of them? Well, until we see the statements, we've asked for statements in Ms. Okay. Lawrence's case, it would be inappropriate for me to comment because I haven't seen the statements. Uh, today, um, I'm sure Mr. Boston indicated, uh, the, he was instructed, Mr. Hanneman was instructed to lay over the statements in Mr. Loinfield's matter. I understand they will do that sometime this morning. We will upload this as they are attempting to serve a summons for him to come to court at Congress. Ms. Lawrence, any comments as you appear this morning? Well, I just want to thank my attorney. I want to thank God. I want to thank all of my supporters, those here and not here. Um, this is another set of Trump up charges. I I know personally that I have committed no crime. I have done absolutely nothing of what I'm accused of. I have been a citizen from the time I heard this morning this this file was charged who has been in public all the time. As a matter of fact, I worked right on to the Monday, the 3rd of August. I left the Ministry of Public Health compound at 3.30. And at no time was any uh, matters brought to the Ministry to uh, present to me. I also was provided with 24-hour security by the government of Guyana at my residence in La Penitence. And nobody ever came there to file anything. Um, so I just believe that this is a continuation of the circus that we will see under this regime. And we have to brace ourselves and we have to be strong and we have to stand up. I fear no foe with God sitting on the throne. I have committed no crime. It is not the first time I have been the returning officer, um, the agent for region four it is not the first time that i have worked um, with elections and elections processes and so all of a sudden i've just finished two local government elections and now this election here still in region four still concerned about georgetown that was my area and here it is, all of a sudden, we can have these trumped-up charges against you. They're trumped-up charges, they're fictitious, they're meant to incite and to lay blame and to humiliate. But I want to say that I am not going down. The truth will prevail. The truth will Miss Lawrence, as, as we have... Miss Lawrence, Miss Lawrence, Miss Lawrence, as we have here, briefly your reaction to your exclusion from Parliament. Any thoughts? I have not been excluded from Parliament. I have not been excluded from Parliament. But you are not an MP. Let us go. 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 Let